Hi everyone, how are you? Good? Great. Welcome back. We are going to see the doctor that we saved from the worm. Last, last, I can never do, say this word. The previous episode. Let's get over to Doc Eason's on the double. Yes. Uh, the infirmary should be located on the west side, if I recall correctly. Yes, you recall correctly. Now, I still haven't catch the stuff in this village, but I will do it next. Good day. Good morning, everyone. The doctor's been waiting for you. Please, go on in. I cannot say I expected you to save me. Nonetheless, I'm glad you're in good health, Leticia. I too am glad to see you well, Marcus. Huh? Wait a second. Do you two know each other? And that makes you... Albert Bergholm. It's been quite some time, Marcus. That it has. I barely recognized you. And you, good sir, must be Raymond. I cannot thank you enough for saving the people of our fair town. Think nothing of it. Seeing you in good spirits is thanks enough. And so, Lady Leticia, to what do I owe the pleasure? I have come in search of Midas Felgreed and thought you might know his whereabouts. Hmm. What business do you have with him, if I may ask? I wish him to accompany me to the capital. A threat looms over the kingdom, and without his assistance, we shall succumb to it. My lady, I assume you are privy to the true cause of his resignation? I believe the royal family and its advisors took umbrage with his methods. Then you understand why I cannot in good conscience reveal his whereabouts. Nothing can change that. Nothing at all. Are you certain? Perhaps if your motivation differed, so would my answer. Marcus! I ask you take your leave. And if you would be so kind, refrain from calling upon me henceforth. <sighs> what the hell happened between you three? Had to be something, the way he was acting. Wait! Don't go! I need to ask you something! Nina? So, uh, Leticia? You're not just some page from the capital, are you? I don't think I've ever heard the doctor speak so deferentially to anyone in my life. The two of you also seem to know each other. Do you know Uncle Midas, too? Uncle Midas? At the very least, you have to know that Dr. Eason was one of Osirius's three wise men, just like Uncle Midas. So the doc's, like, famous or something? And suppose I do. Then you might be interested in this. My full name is Nina DeForge. DeForge? Would you happen to mean the same DeForge as... I do. My father, who served alongside Midas and Dr. Ezen as one of the Three Wise Men, is none other than... Filberto de Forge. So, what do you say? Can someone like little old me join you? Uh, maybe the street's not the best place for this. We can talk at my house. It's just on the other side of the inn. Oh, she wants to join us. What? Probably Whoa, not a conversation weather. to have in the street. Hey, what are you My house isn't far from here. Let's head, head there. Work. Yeah, yeah. No, that house right has on. a hand pointing. <laughs> okay, through the entrance. Uh, so. It's just down the hill from the infirmary. Yes, we know. My house is right over here. 
Oh, right this way, please. Cozy. Here we are. Sorry, it's kind of a mess. No need to apologize. I bet it's empty. Good day. Please make yourselves at home. She's researching Helgar's disease? If I may. Where is Maester de Forge? He passed away seven years ago. He did? Yes, and ever since, Dr. Eason has been my guardian and my teacher. He taught me all I know about iatromancy. So you didn't learn anything from your dad? He did leave me a lot of documents, but no, he never taught me anything himself. And to be fair, I never even thought to ask. I had zero idea how important he or the doctor was before he died. What the devil are you doing here? An accomplished semiomancer has died and I wish to pay my respects. The deceased does not wish you to, so please take your leave. Yes, I suppose you are right. He wouldn't want to see my face. Huh? <gasps> you must be Filberto's daughter. I can see both him and Amalia in you. You have the face of a semiomancer. Perhaps she does, but Filberto did not wish for her to walk the same path. Hence, I raise her as my own. If Filberto is watching us from beyond, I'm sure your words have put any fears he had to rest. I will leave you to grieve. Laticia, Albert, let us away. <sighs> I knew I heard the name Laticia before. Nina. Let me be honest with you, Your Highness. There's something I've wanted to do for a long time. I know it's presumptuous to ask, but if you promise to help me achieve it, then I promise to help you in return. I'll try and persuade the doc to tell you where Midas is. You will? Of course. I mean, it's not like you did anything wrong. Your family may have been at odds with him, but you've saved both him and this town. You are obviously a good person. Hey, uh, I remember the doctor saying something about if our motivation was different, his answer would be two. So, maybe we could work with that? I think that ship has sailed. Either way, now doesn't seem like the best time. No matter what we say, he's not going to listen to us. Ah! Ray, you mind coming with me to the infirmary? Alone? To do what, though? Just the usual work is all. Come on, let's go. Uh, okay. What could they possibly be doing at the infirmary? Whatever it is, I have a bad feeling about it. To think that funeral was for Maester de Forge. My ignorance shames me. You and I were but children. How could we remember? I disagree. We may have been young, but not so young as to forget. Our age is no excuse. Your Highness. Maester de Forge may have been the eldest of the three wise men, but he had seen far fewer years than my father. That is for certain. It is quite strange. Hey, you might want to think about getting out of here! And soon! The talk's on his way as we speak! Pardon? Have... Have we a destination? Place called Rythal, apparently. Going there to get meds. To... to get medicine? Whatever, who cares? Let's just go! Unless you want to face the doctor's wrath, then be my guest! Don't worry, Dad. I got this. You'll see. 
right. Now all that's left is to make it out of this place without getting caught. What have they done? They piece off the doctor. <laughs> they went there to to what? Okay, let's go. So, Ray, do you serve the Osarian royal family too? Nah, I'm just a humble transporter. I was carrying some cargo for a client when I was attacked by thieves. And then my ship was destroyed, I got separated from my crew, and these two graciously helped me out of a tight spot. And now we're traveling around together looking for my friend. By the way, where exactly is this Rythel place anyway? It lies to the northeast. From here, we need only travel eastward until the coastline comes into view. Gotcha. Now that you mention it, it's been a long time since I've seen a real ocean. So, who is the client's... Ryan client? Ray... Ryan... Raymond client. They haven't <laughs> tell us anything about that yet. I'm curious to know. We have company. Nina's special features. Oh, she's a healer. Ooh. Okay, this is good. We have a healer now. So, the princess will not die, I hope. Okay, she cannot attack, but she can heal. That's fine. Do you have any clues about where to look for your friends, Ray? Nope, not even one. We've got no choice but to wander around until we find a lead. I'm not exactly from around here, so I have no idea where anything is until someone tells me. I see. Well, I'm certainly no expert either. But if there's anything you want to know, I'll do my best to fill you in. Awesome. That'd be a huge help. She's nice. We are going to the seaport. Will we see some boats or some kind of transport maritime transportation? I mean, they must use boats, right? Because this planet is not that... What's the word? Advanced? Like from the... Oh, shrines. Okay. Can I have a blessing? No, I don't have lilies. Okay. Am I going in the right place? Target sighted. Yes, I will catch everything next, so don't you worry. Every time she says, We must press on, I always hear, We must cross on. Always. Oh! Losing health. We are going through a canyon. When you are not fighting, this is really relaxing. Just oh, it must be the port over there. Okay, I have much to explore next. Ugh. I'm glad that we now have a healer because I almost died there. So the seaport. What do you think we will find there? And why are you going to get medicine? I mean, it makes sense because it's a port, so the transportation of materials and cargo and that kind of stuff happens in the ports because... <sighs> This ocean breeze feels great. They Looks like our planes. path splits two ways here, though. We will arrive in Rifle regardless of which we choose. However, the route adjacent to the ocean is shorter. With Maester Marcus waiting on us, we have not the time for sightseeing. You're right. Let's handle our business quickly and get back as soon as we can. The one near the shore is faster okay this is not that close to the shore as he was saying let me 
just catch the threads. This is a nice touch to help you explore. Now you have a Welcome to Rytho. purpose. Whew, that was one hell of a trek. All right, let's do what Nina came here to do. Which is what? Grab some medicine? Let's go and see. Ooh! So it's a port. Ray? I ain't gonna break our promise or anything. I was just thinking. Might be a ship bound for where Chloe touched down, you know? I see. We should make for the pier. If any fairies have successfully made the crossing, they shall be there. How about you, Nina? You cool with going to the port? Of course. I needed to go there anyway, so no complaints here. Okay, let's go to the port. What I was saying, these houses are cute. They look like some Irish kind of North Europe style. Something like that. I, my architecture worldwide, wild, world wide, is not that great. Ugh, so many R's to say in English. So it's from here. Place always this dead? Shouldn't be. To my knowledge, it's always bustling. Maybe this warrants an investigation. Okay. I mean, this place has more people than the other towns, so... Why are the fairies Takato still out of commission? I can't run a business like this! You trying to hightail it to the capital too, huh? Well, I've got bad news for you. The Vale Empire's got it locked down with their warships, and they're not withdrawing them anytime soon. You are kidding me! If I were, prices wouldn't be through the roof. I can barely put food on the table myself. <sighs> Maybe those rumors about a war brewing weren't so far-fetched after all. Just forget Kato and the capital even exist. You'll sleep better at night. Guess the laws of supply and demand apply no matter what planet you're on. Distro goes down and prices go up. Speaking of which, we came here to buy stuff, right? Are we even gonna be able to do that? Not actually sure. I didn't think shipping routes would be closed when we left, so we might be in trouble. Mind if I hit the infirmary now? It's right around here, and I don't want to risk missing out. Oh, you cannot be serious! There aren't any ships running? What's the holdup? When are they gonna set sail again? I honestly couldn't tell you. Regular service has been temporarily suspended due to the appearance of the Imperial warships. What? Temporarily suspended? Isn't there anything you can do? I can't do much if the ships don't set sail. Ooh, I got the best idea. You need to sneak into the Imperial capital. Huh? What? You've got to bust in there and knock some sense into somebody. The Emperor, whoever. Then, the Emperor will stop sending out its warships and you guys can resume service, right? <laughs> That's a good one. Do I look like I'm joking? Because I'm not. At all. <laughs> Please, I told you! Regular service is suspended! Ugh, he was useless anyway. <sighs> but what am I supposed to do if their stupid ships are too chicken to set sail? You're gonna have to think of something, old Welch. A most eccentric young woman, for lack of a better word. Yeah, you can say that again. Hey, looks like she might have dropped something. Oh, a ring. I believe this symbol represents the Vineyards, a well-known merchant family in Delric. Would it not? Perhaps we might keep an eye out next we are in Delric. My, though, what a rambunctious girl. 
cream functions. It's crazy that what she is. Her animations were so exaggerated. Exaggerated. <laughs> she was moving like all the way around. Was she a human? Maybe she's not a human. Is she a slime? Pretending to be a human. This will prove most useful. Fresh sage. What's that for? I don't know. Oh no, I I cannot do this. I have to leave the exploration for of the records. Yes, I see those purple stones. Leave them be. I will be back and catch everything. Don't you worry. It it don't had anything to the playthrough, me catching everything. The building on the other side of the plaza is the hospital. This is the hospital? Okay. You don't look like one. Good afternoon. Is Dr. Vanell here? If it isn't little Nina. I heard those monsters were quite the handful. Wait, you did? How? When goods aren't coming in, your ears tend to perk up at news that might affect your bottom line. So then your stock is low, huh? I've got enough for the time being. Hold on a moment. I'll get you the usual. I don't want to be rude, but if all we're doing is picking up some drugs, remind me why you wanted us to tag along? Sorry, that's not the real reason. There's something I want Leticia to see. Sorry for the wait. Why the long face, Nina? If it's not too much trouble, can we see the patient? Uh, his illness is quite advanced. Just don't get too close. I'll make sure not to. If it's all right, I'd like to show you all something. Is he afflicted with... Yes, Helgar's disease. It's claimed the lives of 20 people already and shows no signs of slowing down. That many? Leticia, if you don't mind, could I come with you to the capital? I need to visit the Semiomancy Consortium. What exactly is that? The main institution where semiomantic research is conducted. It has the best facilities in the kingdom. That goal I was talking about? It's to cure Helgars. And to do that, I'll need to learn a lot more about Iatromancy. Please. I just want to rid the world of the disease that killed my father. The rub is, would Maester Marcus approve of that? If he doesn't, I'll never learn enough about it, and more people will die. I can't let this disease spread any further than it already has. Dr. Ezen and I can only do so much by ourselves. I understand your concern, but that's not why we're here. We're here to convince the doctor to disclose Maester Felgrid's whereabouts. I personally have no issue with escorting you to the Consortium. However, were that to irreparably sour your relationship with Dr. Eason, it would defeat the whole purpose of this endeavor. I don't know, call it a gut feeling, but I seriously doubt Marcus is that stubborn of a person. Do you? Anywho, let's head to Delric. Taking detours isn't gonna earn us any favors with him. Fair enough. It's not as if we gain anything by staying in Rifle. Uh, Albert! Uh, pardon the indiscretion, but no need to worry. I can stand by my... Uh. Yikes, he's burning up. This is bad. Dr. Vanell, we need you to look at someone right away. Please! Illness and travel are inseparable bedfellows. I doubt it's anything serious. That is a great relief. There is something I'd like to ask, however. What manner of creation is that arm? Uh, um... Before I continue, please speak to no one of what you will hear. Hmm... He has lived with that arm for 14 years now. I can only assume he has lived with that pain equally long, abiding it with stoic countenance so as... so as not to worry me. No need for such decorum. 
Someone of your station does not need to lower herself to mine. <sighs> As for Albert, I'm afraid I'm not the Iatromancer Marcus is. I recommend his second opinion. Tell him those are my exact words, and I'm certain he'll oblige. He will? Marcus isn't so set in his ways that he'd ignore Nina. Nor Filberto's wishes. Dr. Vanel. You've had enough excitement today. Go rest. I'll tell Albert when he comes to. Very well. Thank you, Doctor. How is he? Well enough to be discharged tomorrow morning. A little fatigued is all, apparently. <sighs> Good to hear. The doctor also suggested we have Maester Eason look at him once we return to Delric. Weird. Guess Nina was right about Albert looking sick then. Indeed. This ordeal has taken its toll on me as well. Let us return to our lodgings. Okay, so how bad was really sick? I hope he don't die. He's the only mage character that I... The inn is near have. the fountain at the top of the hill, if I recall correctly. Yes. So let's wait for how bad to recover. How exquisite. Pardon us. Hello, we'd like to sleep in, please. Oh, this one has a... Um, how do you call this stuff? Uh, words. Oh, welcome. Thank you. What do you have to eat? Mmm, sushi. Salmon munery. Mild crepe. Let's eat a crepe, why not? Yes. The harbor lights are quite lovely come nightfall. Rest well. Mm, this is pretty good. Okay, now that we're all here, let's go pick up Albert. Let's go. Albert, come with us. The clinic was just down the hill on the left, yeah? Yes. Let's go. Oh, how bad is here? Thank you all for looking after me. And sorry to have been such a burden. Especially to you, Nina. Are you absolutely sure you're okay? I am. You shan't see me on my knees again. Bluster if you want. You will not weasel out of your trip to Dr. Eason's. Of course. Perish the thought. Okay then, let's get on getting back to Delric. Yes. We have to go back there. Okay. We have to go by foot or we can travel by teleport, I mean. I think I've dropped my gear. I'll be back here to accept the um, side quests and that kind of stuff. I don't know if I should accept them right away. I believe I will accept them, yes. Oh, I don't want to play with this yet. Follow my lead. I prefer to Delric be... Village was southwest of here, wasn't it? That is correct. We may begin by traveling south until we are able to see the ocean. Got it. Yes. Let's go. I am so sorry, Albert. Despite being by your side all this time, I am ashamed that I was oblivious to your condition. Uh, please, Your Highness. There is no need to apologize. It was my decision not to tell you, and furthermore... Hey, come on, you two. I know you're probably both feeling guilty about it, but now isn't the time to beat yourselves up. Ray is right. It was a bit of a surprise, but we should be glad we caught it in time. 
Yes. It was. Don't tie on us, Albert. We need your magic. Pretty sure we just keep going west from here, right? Yep, that's right. It's the same route, but it looks totally different when you come at it from the other side. Oh, you seem to be enjoying yourself, Ray. Yeah, wouldn't be an adventure without a little fun, am I right? What you are is a heedless dimwit. <laughs> it's always funny hearing Albert calling names to Raymond. Almost there. Is something the matter, Nina? You look somewhat uh, dispirited. Oh, um, I guess I'm just worried Dr. Eason will be mad at me. You're doing this for a good reason, though. I'm sure he'll understand if you explain it to him, right? That being said, you should probably say you're sorry for skipping town to go to Rythel first, though. Uh, I sure hope he's had some time to cool his head. She's going to get slapped. She, she better prepared for that. <laughs> because that doctor... <laughs> First we hand over the drugs to Dr. Eason, then we'd butt heads with him. Right then. We have that vineyard family ring we found in Rythel. The family is from Delric here, so perhaps we might keep an eye out. From what we have been told, they should have quite the establishment. One we are not like to overlook. The infirmary was on the west side of the village, on top of the hill. Let us make haste. I really like how this game knows that people get forgetful and they are always saying where the the places that we need to go are. So the house of that crazy girl is there and the doctor is here. Uh oh. Nina! Here you go, doctor. The uh medicine you asked for and stuff. Don't hear you go me, Missy. And what in the name of all that's holy are you doing here? Maester, do not be angry at Nina. She has only brought me here to see you as a patient. Uh, did I hear you right? Dr. Vanell examined me in Rifle. However, he suggested that I get a second opinion from you. These are for you, the referral and my medical records. I'll see what I can do. Prosthetic, huh? This lasted 14 years? Anyone else but Midas, and it would have fallen apart ages ago. But even he couldn't keep it from deteriorating. He created this prosthesis using semiomancy. It was designed to grow with its wearer, as would true flesh. Wait, so not only does it move like a normal arm, it grows like one too? How is that not the invention of the century? If only everyone were as elated as you upon its unveiling, things would have been quite different. Maester Eason. You may put your armor back on. I've seen all that I need to. I appreciate Vanel's referral, but I know little about this arm. Midas, on the other hand. All right, I'll tell you. Midas currently resides in the village of Ada. He's your only hope of fixing Albert's prosthesis. Thank you so much. A word of caution, he is a peculiar one. It was he the Council directed their ire toward years ago. Persuading him will be no simple task. Nor will it dissuade us. Thank you again. I know you did not have to tell us.
any hyatromancer in my position would have. Wait, so, so, um, does that mean we're leaving right now? Indeed. Time is of the essence, and Maester Felgreed is integral to our mission. We cannot afford to waste a moment. Oh, uh, I guess that makes sense. Then, um, uh, how do I say this? Nina. Fret not, for I would be honored if you joined us. The more allies I have in this endeavor, the better. You heard the princess. Now see if the doc's cool with it. Okay, I will. So I guess, um, Leticia, I'll be with you in just a sec. <sighs> Dr. Eason, can I ask you something? Of course. What is it? We should give them some privacy. That we should. So, where is this, Ada? To the north of the Larkus region, at the summit of a perilously steep mountain. We should provision ourselves accordingly. As an added benefit, Nina will have the time she needs to settle her affairs. Works for me. Okay, let me just go... Love this weather. Oh! Is that not the Vineyard family's emblem there on that sign? I must say, it does seem to be the right place. Yes. Good day. Oh, it's so empty. What? Okay. There's nothing in here. Hello, are you poor? <laughs> no way, no way, no way! This is not happening! Where could it be? No! Um, pardon me, but I believe you may have dropped this ring. What? Uh, who are you? Why are you in my... Th that's my ring! Huh? I must have dropped it back in Rifle! <laughs> what a miracle you found it! Thanks! Allow myself to introduce myself. <laughs> I'm the head of a wealthy merchant family. We've been living in Delric for generations. I'm the brilliant, beautiful Welch Vineyard! I believe the Vineyards are a merchant family, who are even well known across Osirius. Is this truly where you reside, Welch? Uh, talk about a low blow. Uh, anyway, let's gloss over the minor details. Meanwhile, you picked up my ring, came to find me and deliver it? <laughs> That's pretty pathetic. <laughs> I mean, uh, what a sweetheart you are. And since you're so nice, I have a favor to ask. There's this thing that I super totally re need, and I've got a hunch that you're just the right person to get it for me. Easy peasy bunny squeezy, right? <laughs> Don't worry, the quest comes with a reward. It, yes. Magnificent! Okay, I gave you my orders, now make like a tree and get... Uh, I mean, please complete my request as soon as you can. Acquire and deliver the items. What? Roly poly beam. Oh, I have them already. <sighs> Just how long is that Joker gonna make me wait? Did they have mud in their ears? I said, as soon as they can. Please excuse the long delay. Uh, where did you come from? Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Uh, what do you mean, delay? That was surprisingly fast. Yes! That's exactly what I needed! <laughs> now, by mixing this with that... <laughs> Ooh, now I've got my hands full. Hold your horses, Buster. Did I say 
you could leave. It would stain the vineyard name if I let you leave without getting your reward. Did you forget what I said? I will now give you a special lesson in the compounding secrets of the vineyard family. Oh, right. I'd better give this to you, too. As long as you got this baby, you can stay in contact with me from even the most far-off locations. And since you're quite the subservient, uh, I mean, uh, due to your natural aptitude, I'm appointing you as my personal scavenger. I'll use this to give you a little ring when I need you again, and when I do, you get your butt here right away. Capiche? Yes, that is fine. Splendid! And if you bring me the things I request, I'll teach you the item creation secrets of the vineyard family. A reward like that ought to get your tush in gear. Alrighty, let's make it happen. Twas our most sincere pleasure. So she's an alchemist? What is it? You know I don't need you for anything right now, yeah? Wait, does this mean you want to speak with the beautiful merchant magnate with genius level smarts head of the vineyard family Welch Vineyard? Fine by me, but it'll cost you. Uh, okay, so she's. she is quite a character. <laughs> Let's go and see the weapon shop, I believe. Good day. Hello, I'd like to buy something, please. Let me see what you get. Welcome! Feel free you to have. ask if you have any questions. Thank you. Oh, we have new weapons for Albert. Nice. Yes. Much appreciated. We shall come again. We can now create items and that kind of stuff, so that's good to know. Nina's probably done with her talk by now. Shall we return to the infirmary then? Yes. Let's return. How'd it go? Good. He didn't even argue. I just told him I wanted to join the consortium, and he said fine. On one condition, that I don't embarrass the princess. How did you know that he would give his consent? I just know that's how parents are. They don't want their kids to experience the same hardships they did. But at the same time, part of them wants their kids to follow in their footsteps. It's in their blood. And I should know better than most. I followed in my father's. Hmm. Obviously, the maesters were pretty pissed at the royal family. Which probably accounts for at least one reason why your old man never mentioned anything about his past. Anyway, he still left you that mountain of research regardless. Just in case you ever decided to become an iatromancer like him. Plus, Dr. Eason made you his apprentice. What I'm trying to say is, both of them are more than happy to support you in your decision. You think? <laughs> I guess they would have. Well, if it took us a trip to Rythel to convince the Doc, who knows what it'll take to convince Midas. So let's get going. Yeah. I'm off, Dad. See you around. And we are set to go. What's your problem? We have to meet Midas in a new different town. Up the mountains for what I understood. And that's it for now. Okay. Next we will see that guy Midas and 
we'll find what he has to say. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and see you on the next journey. Bye.